fucking freedom rally. Fucking freedom rally. It was amazing. <laughs> King of Pug! King of Pug! King of Pug! Yeah, so this is the big hall. I'm Alex with the Drug Policy Forum of Massachusetts, and you're looking at about 500 newly filled out voter registrations here we got from this year's Freedom Rally. But he does that, we're going to win. Woo! Thank you. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, Woo! give it up for Barney Frank! Barney! 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 I know, and you wanted to start the chant that said, and they were like, Barney fucking Frank! Barney! 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 <laughs> we tried to sign that chant, but uh, it was the Barney Frank chant that I think we can take credit that that uh, oh, yeah, Barney's that was... husband Jim came out on stage to that one. Oh yeah, he came, Barney got he his. He said all the other politicians get to do this. I want to get to do this, and he took out his his husband Jim. Barney, 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 Barney. Woo! I I want to. Behave like other politicians, so I want to introduce my husband, Jim, who's right here. Jim, 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 Barney, Jim. It was amazing. We had such an honor getting to talk to them. Yeah, and it was a, it was a, they knew like they when they, when we came backstage oh, yeah. after the you know to talk to them, they were like, oh, it's the two hot ads, like. Well, they were also the, the uh, Barney chant and the gym chant. I have a question you. for you. Were <laughs> you on stage the whole time? Yeah, uh, can we send you the pictures? Yeah. Do you have a card? And we're like, uh. <laughs> Amateurs. Yeah, Jim called us. We got the video. Jim, watch our video and contact us because yeah. we love you guys. Barney and Jim. <laughs> Amazing. So good. And we are in the Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. Do you guys have a card? Like um, a you know what? I just said we have to email you. We should have a card. We have a Facebook page, wait, too, Hot Head, where I have them. This is distorting and like. That's what I said we should turn back. I'm just going to write something. Or send a, a, a message to his office and they'll email me. We need a card. There are cultural biases involved. With what Alex has been doing. It's, yeah. you know, Voting. Barney Frank. Get the registered, whole, get active. Exactly, the no, whole we do. message. It, you know, it was amazing. Yeah. I probably could have gotten a thousand, but the thing is we ran out in the middle of the day. We only thought we'd maybe do two to three hundred voter registration forms, but we ended up clearing five hundred by four. The event went till six, so who knows how many we're going to get next year. Six hundred cards filled out in support of Barney Frank's legislation to federally legalize marijuana and we're going to be handing those in to congressmen all over Massachusetts and uh, we actually got some cards for some other states too in New Hampshire and Connecticut and uh, the surrounding New England area so that's going to help drum up a lot of support for his legislation. At least people get you know talking about it in those areas and those offices and make them aware that there's a lot of support in their state for this issue and um, they're definitely going to see that this November as well we got a uh, PPQs coming up in a whole bunch of Senate and state rep districts, and we've got question three coming up, so it's going to be a very good year for uh, for the whole reform movement in Massachusetts. And Judge Jim Gray, thing, like, yep. oh my God! I mean, he was down there listening to speeches. Yeah. He was shaking hands. Victory stuff. None of this. Let's make a good showing. None of this. Let's plan for the future. We're going to run in the year 2012, November 6, and we're going to win. I said, we're going to win! Woo! You have to take this personally, folks. You can do this. You register to vote. There are lots of voter registration booths around. By the way, I'm a member of LEAP, Law Enforcement Against Prohibition. Been speaking with them for years. LEAP has a, a table over here. Go visit them. Normal, National Organization Reform of Marijuana Laws, has a couple of tables. Go support them. Good people. And of course, Governor Gary Johnson, Judge Jim Gray have a table as well. You've got to take this personally. No lethargy. You've got to get out there. Tell the world.
You tell that world of yours to tell their world as well. We get in the debates, we win. We get in the debates, we will make Romney and Obama discuss issues they do not want to discuss, like marijuana legalization. They don't want to discuss it. What do they want to do? They want to change the subject. Don't let them do it. We're going to pass a medical. We're going to get a lot of people saying they want to legalize marijuana in an official vote. And we'll be charging forth to 2016, what hopefully you, the big year. <laughs> what did you think about the Freedom Rally overall? You see some It was great. The Freedom Rally was great. You know, honestly, I've never seen a crowd more receptive to registering to vote than the Freedom Rally. So it was a, the perfect storm, as you will. You got a lot of kids. A lot of them just turned 18, a lot of 19, 20 year olds who've never voted before. They were coming to our tables in droves. We'd have six, seven kids at a time registering to vote all at once down, like we had 10 feet of table space that would all be used registering people to vote. It was crazy. I've never seen so many people just coming to register to vote. I've been to a lot of events like these before. And so. Next year we'll know better. We'll get a thousand voter registration forms and That's hopefully awesome. we'll run out then too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it adds up year after year after year. Yeah, it does. It adds up a lot. 500 new voters, that's a ton. That's a lot. That's a, that's a serious chunk of new voters. <laughs> I should be talking, you know. I was the Freedom Rally man. By the end of the night, I was like, you know, just stumbling home. There was no after party for me. Yeah, the no after, after party, party was a nap. The after party was Bonnie Frank, Heather. Yeah, exactly. And behind the camera. It was just amazing. I, mm -hmm. I amazing pretty moments. much... I, I just had one of the best days of my life. The second year in, the, in a row that, two, second year in a row that, that solo sex got to perform. And uh, it was awesome. We had 17 minutes. I had, to, I had to nudge out those extra two minutes as usual. I'm always in like a, a struggle with the Stingray stage. But I, before we got on stage, the stage manager, I can't remember his name, he was awesome. I was like, I was like how about, he's like, you got 15 minutes. I'm like, how about 17? Like, you know what, you got it, you got it. <laughs> so we got to do it and we did our whole set. We Is that had Greg our... Brunch? What's up? Greg Brunch? Yeah. 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 Oh, he was awesome. He was great. You did a good job, Greg, and uh He passed me a joint on stage actually. Yeah. So yeah, good. everybody from on regular radio was out in full force too. Dex right. as a host was absolutely incredible. That 420 countdown with uh, uh Rick Cusick. And DJ Slim. Yeah, and, and the clouds of smoke. Oh yep. my god. In the audience. So yep. it was just amazing. Yeah. We 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 I I missed most of the show because we were we were in our booth, we were doing activism, talking yep. to people, trying to register voters, but you know, you were doing the hard work, Alex. But seriously. We were out there promoting, you know, the radio show. That's what we wanted to do that day. And we did a really good job, but when we went down to the stage and we saw that cloud of smoke, we weren't even smoking. Heather and I were just <laughs> I was filming and Heather was like, Oh my god! It was just, <laughs> It was an awesome ending to the day. It was just a great, great day. Let's do it, Rick! Let's go! We don't fucking care! You gotta let me know when you guys are ready. I'm over here. Are you ready, folks? <laughs> you ready to count down? You are right, Ken! I'm ready! Nine! Eight! Nine! Seven! Two hotheads booth and yes. shout outs to Red Blaza yeah. for getting us that amazing uh, banner for our booth because that that brought us to the next level yeah. of notoriety. I was the back there spray painting solo sex cool. t-shirts. Um, yeah, no. Have you seen and, the John Murphy little video he did? No. Oh, we're gonna post that on my camera. Oh really? You, you were spraying at this point. He oh got really? You on video. We got us <laughs> video of us just being crazy at like <laughs> noon. We didn't yeah, even We were like. Ah! I was so hyped up. Yeah, I just Jody Emery coming to Boston, loved it. She's amazing. I got like two, two and a half minutes of awesome video with her that you've seen that everyone's commenting on. 
that lady is amazing. Helping him be first. Cody Emery. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Out on the East Coast here at the Boston Freedom Rally, my first time. I'm already blown away, and it's just noon. I'm sure a lot more people are going to show up. And I'm honored to be invited to speak, so I'll be over on the main stage later sharing my message about Mark, legalizing marijuana, and so much more. And I'm totally impressed by what everybody out here has managed to pull off. It's a great reminder that from west to east, north to south, everywhere, our community is not only celebrating cannabis, but protesting prohibition with a serious passion. And we know we're going to win, because when you got decrim and medical marijuana and legalization on the ballots throughout the states, this is where the drug war began, this is where it's got to end, and when you guys do it here, people like me from Canada, out in Vancouver, we're hoping and wishing and wanting you guys to set the example, because the drug war is in my country, it's getting worse, we're having a lot of problems with our government, and we need to be able to point to you guys and say, look, they know the drug war is a failure, they're reversing their policies, we can't follow that same failed path, let's use the approach that they're using now, and legalize tax regulate, decrim, medical, whatever you can do to reduce the harms of prohibition. That's what we got to get behind. So I support you guys here with question three and I support any initiative anywhere that reduces the penalties for pot because prohibition destroys lives, cannabis saves lives, and we're all in this together. Like I said, from west to east, north to south, all around the world, our culture is celebrating and fighting for freedom. Good to see you guys. I hope you'll be here next year. Oh, thank you, Jody. So what are you doing here, Frank? I came to register people to vote and tell people about End the Fed. Our Audit the Fed event that's going to be happening on September 22nd. We're meeting over here at the gazebo and then marching down to the Fed to let them know. We're lucky to be a part of it every year and, and meet new people every year and, um, I don't know, you know, a lot of young people. Which, you know, I'm really glad that young voters are going to be going out to the polls. And this is something that, you know, me and Alex were talking about, um, which is that we need to get more press and more media around the voter registration yeah. in terms of question three yeah. as a motivating and that's factor. It, that's it. That's what I like about the Freedom Rally now. It's like the press that we do and the promo that we do, we're talking about these things. Registering mm -hmm. voters, the fact that question three is here, it's time to vote. We, you know, there's so much that goes on at the Freedom Rally. They're activism, all the heads, where activism happens. Boston, we'll, we'll see you at the next Freedom Rally. Also, this week, make sure you listen to Two Hot Heads. We got, uh, we're doing the Freedom Rally recap show. You don't know who's going to be on. There's going to be a lot of the major people from the Boston Freedom Rally that you saw on stage. You might have missed. They're going to be calling in or showing up in the studio. We got a lot of surprises this week. We're also doing Audit the Fed. We're going to be live down there. Oh, yeah. And uh, Garrett more, Kirkland. Yeah, Garrett Kirkland from the show running that. But Judge Jim Gray is going to be down there. He's going to be at Suffolk Normal Amazing. on Saturday. So we're going to have a lot of footage and a lot of news on this week's show because we're getting into it week after week after week. So check it out, Two Hot Heads, where activism happens. And very excited that we were able to collect over 500. Was it 500 or 600? 500 <laughs> registered voters. That's amazing in Massachusetts. Yep. Welcome Hotheads. to voting in Massachusetts and being involved. Exactly. Look at that. There you go. There's 500 people here <laughs> who are now part of the political process at an earlier age than they would have been. Yep. Definitely. Two hotheads for activism happens on unregular radio. Is that the most you ever got one day, you think? Oh, by far. By far. Extrapolating from other events I've done like this in the past, I'd maybe do 200. I would consider that good. You know? I thought 200 was going to be a good day. We did 500. Get more people coming out, we'll get thousands. Next no. year. Sky's the limit. We just need more volunteers. That's all there is holding us back. The video to my you know you're not shy, come on. No way, you took it. She's not shy. I'm losing my dress. No 